Does anyone know what director pioneered multi-track recording for film? You know, who know, tell us Mr. Audio. After World War II, when Jack Mullen modified the German AEG magnetophone and rebranded it the Ampex 200, that tape recorder was used to record much of the dialogue for films. In the 1950s, Stefan Kadelsky introduced his Nagra tape recorder, which was much smaller and became the industry standard for recording dialogue. The Nagra, as well as the Ampex 200, were either mono or stereo, so that the dialogue for all of the actors had to be mixed live during production. This was not a problem when the sound mixer and boom operator could follow a script. They would know which actor would be speaking and when, so that they could position the booms and adjust the levels of the mics accordingly. However, in the 1970s, director Robert Altman and others often worked with actors where the dialogue was more extemporaneous, meaning that the actors improvised their lines. Working this way, the sound crew had no idea which actor would be speaking at any time. To be able to get good presence on all of the actors, Altman used a 1-inch analog 8-track so that each actor could be recorded separately. Later, the sound department would have to sort out whichever actor was speaking. It meant more work in post-production, but having each actor on a separate track eliminated the bleed from the other mics, and the dialogue presence dramatically increased. Today, Altman's multi-track technique is used on almost all films and television shows. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.